very tense situation. So will international obser observers help to keep the vote free from violence? Canada has sent 500 election observers to Ukraine, including several MPs. Joining me now from the eastern city of Harku is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Defence, James Bazan. He's heading up the OSCE Parliamentary Association's mission. And with him, another election observer, the NDP's uh, Peggy Nash. Good to see you both. Appreciate you making the time for doing this. Um, you aren't very far from where some of this violence has taken place. James Bazan, let me start with you. What are you hearing today about what is unfolding in eastern Ukraine? Well, I guess everyone is very concerned about uh, the violence that has escalated in the Donetsk Oblast and in Luhansk. Um, you know, this is again the efforts being made by uh, Russian aggressors to uh, really keep things uh, on an uneven, uh, tenuous uh, scale and uh, make it next to impossible to hold elections in the dozen or so cities where this violence is occurring. But I can tell you that from our uh, trip to uh, Kiev and receiving our briefings there uh, today and yesterday, uh, I was actually delighted to see how peaceful everything is in Kiev, especially uh, since I was there in March, right after the massacre happened on the Maidan. And you can see that, that um, the people of Ukraine really want to set the path for a better future, uh, that they're engaged in this democratic process and are looking forward to having a new president. Uh, Peggy Nash, I know we've, we've seen some reports of uh, pro-Russian separatists warning people against voting, that even voter lists or ballot uh, papers have been seized, uh, election officials threatened. These are all things that we're hearing about. Have you also heard uh, of those kinds of incidents? Have you seen any of that? And are you worried about your own safety? Well, Rosemary, we're, of course, part of a larger parliamentary delegation here in Ukraine. Uh, joining us here in Kharkiv is um, Ted Opitz and Dave Christofferson. So there's four of us Canadians, and there will be a total of five uh, teams. That's uh, five pairs of two. Uh, MPs who are going to be observing the elections here in, in Harku. We have just arrived, we literally just arrived at our hotel. It's about 10 o'clock uh, at night here. And um, everything we saw coming into the city was peaceful. People are walking about on the streets. Uh, we have been told that things are fairly calm here but that we should be on alert. And obviously our safety briefings are such that if we suspect any escalating tension, if we sense any danger, certainly our instructions are to withdraw. Uh, we're hopeful that the elections will go well, people will come out to vote, and that they will have a chance to express their democratic will. James Bazan, do you have any concern as a Canadian observer that you will not be seen necessarily as neutral by um, people who would be considered pro-Russia uh, uh, people in the east of Ukraine, given the sort of support that we had for uh, President Yanukovych back in February? Well, I uh, wasn't support for Yanukovych, our opposition to the Sorry, Yanukovych yes, yes, yes. and all the uh, incredible um, brutality that he, he forced sorry, upon yes, of course, yes, sorry. on the Euromaidan. Now, there's no question that uh, what we're hearing is that the people of Ukraine are very thankful for the strong position that was been taken by the government of Canada, by the Parliament of Canada, uh, the strong messaging that uh, we have all shown in, in uh, showing that we're in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So the people of Ukraine definitely see this as, as, as being positive. You got to remember that this, the OSCE uh, mission involves uh, all member countries of the OSCE, and as as Peg was saying. And in Hotterkew here, we have uh, Sweden, Netherlands, uh, the Danish and Liechtenstein, the, <laughs> yeah. uh, all part of our missions. And uh, so it is uh, one that, that we're quite proud to be participating in. Now, there's no question that, that the agitators and the provocateurs uh, don't want to see this take place. But uh, even although President Putin sent some very mixed messaging today, uh, said that he's going to respect the election results. So we are hopeful that we will see a large turnout and that the will of the people of Ukraine will be respected by the entire international community because this is about them setting the path for a brighter future. 
Um, Peggy Nash, maybe your thoughts on that, on whether Canada and, and in our role there as observers, whether we can be seen as neutral, given that we took such a clear position, uh, as James Bazan pointed out, against Yanukovych and for the people protesting. Mm -hmm. Certainly we took a very strong position against the repression of Ukrainians and uh, deservedly so. Um, we've uh, just recently arrived in the east. Now this, as I said, is, is fairly near the Russian border and um, we'll see uh, over the next few days whether the mood is different here than it was in Kiev, the capital. Um, we're, uh, we'll get a sense of, of whether we're warmly welcomed or whether there's any, any kind of sensitivity to us being here. Um, I have, this is my fourth mission, we're all experienced observers, uh, and I have observed elections actually in this city before mm. and uh, have never had a problem with, um, with people being hostile or, or resentful to observers being here. So it, it will be interesting tomorrow to see if the mood has changed given the events of this spring. And um, we're, we're hopeful that the election will go well, people will get a chance to vote, and that the results will bring some stability here in Ukraine and people can get on with building the country and get on with their lives. And Rosemary, let me just uh, point out, we are independent and neutral observers uh, of everything that's happening with the election because on the ballot is about selection of a new president and there's there's over 20 people that are on the ballot there so so all political stripes all ethnicities are represented on that ballot we're not here to pick favorites we're here to ensure that it's a fair and transparent election uh, that uh, we are there to report any irregularities uh, or voter fraud that, that we've experienced in, in previous elections uh, in, in Ukraine but um, you know Joining Russia or having a Russian invasion is not on the ballot, and and I think that that we have been quite strong as a parliament, as a government, as Prime Minister Harper and, and Minister Barrett has said that that uh, the tensions uh, regarding the geopolitical situation with Russia needs to be de-escalated, de and the only person that can do that is President Putin himself. Well, listen, uh, nice of you both to speak to, speak with us to take the time there, and it's nice to see you both sort of working together towards a common goal too. <laughs> that doesn't happen often, but this is an important. One. Thank you both very much, James Bazan and Peggy Thanks. Nash. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay.